Hello everyone and welcome to Code Escuela. In this video, we will be exploring Mudblazer. So, I uh, will be taking a look at what Mudblazer is and what it looks like when used in your Blazor projects. And yeah, a, sh a quick demo of uh, Mudblazer within Northwind Blazor project. Alright, so Mudblazer is basically a third-party Blazor components. So, it offers several set of uh, Blazor UI components that you can use in your Blazor applications. And so, yeah, let's head out and take a look at what Mudblazor offers. So, right now, if you have your browser open, just head on to mudblazor.com and then, yeah, you'll be uh, sent to this page. So, this is their homepage. So, it tells what Mudblazor is all about. So, yeah, it quite has quite a nice interface to their UIs, I mean their components. So yeah, let's head on straight to their documents page or docs page. And yeah, if you, you can see that uh, it has or it offers several sets of components. So they're grouped together in their different uh, purpose. So yeah, most common would be like different layouts so if you want to ap apply different layouts to your blazer application then yeah mud blazer offers quite several of them so you have your uh, containers you have you can use grids it also has divider stacks so yeah it also has a several set of buttons that you can use your usual button this uh, button fab which is like a, a circular button then yeah some other buttons that are offered here icon button toggle uh, it also has quite a quite a wide range of inputs or input components that you can use for your forms yeah you have checkbox color picker date picker your usual input fields you also have here a star rating yeah slider switch text field uh, for data, you have also several options. You have like here the car, the carousel. The carousel is where you can, uh, like for example, you have a set of images that would just uh, functions like a carousel wherein data is uh, paging through. You have also, if you have tabular data, you can use data grid or simple table or table also have timelines yeah good for showing uh, data that is in a like chronological uh, order then you have also options for navigation like typical links navigation menus breadcrumbs and then you also have feedback like alerts badges uh, message boxes progress and then lastly you have a set of css utilities right so let's take a look at one of their components. Let's see what their button looks like. Yeah, you have also several options for them. And then different uh, themes, if you can say, say so, like default, primary, secondary. Right? You have also an option to have a button that just displays as text. And then several other options that you can do. Full width, wherein the button would like expand all of the width of its container so in this case uh, it's maximized as a uh, full width of this uh, section right you can also add labels and icons you can have different sizes right you can also have a button that would look like a link and yeah uh, let's take a look at other things that we can uh, let's see about, uh, let's see, uh, grid. Grid is where uh, it's a layout, uh, a kind of a layout component wherein you can arrange your or layout your uh, page in via grid. So you have 12, uh, up to 12 columns, right? You can use to arrange your grid. And then, yeah, it's quite also responsive. Yeah. So let's take a look 
at uh, how mud blazer would look like in your application so uh, i don't know if you've been aware i've been working on the northwind blazer application my open source project uh, so with that one i've been using mud blazer uh, from the start so let's take a look at uh, how it would look like so let's i have here already my project open and then let's just run this one so that we can see how the mud blazer uh, ui looks like so all of this is uh, mud blazer components hopefully this doesn't take long to build and run okay okay now so it it uses several uh, elements or components of the mud blazer so basically the entire application is running on an app container it has a navigation uh, menus on the left and then you have your application bar app bar so you can hide and display the navigation menus on the left then you have options to so let's open like one of them like for example in this customer orders with customer orders i use just a simple table so this is what the table would look like so you have also different options of uh, core configurations that you can use you can like make it more compressed so you can use a dense option so that it gets more uh, compact so in this case you have this simple table and then you have this uh, bar here toolbar and you have also this uh, set of input components for your forms this is drop down and then the buttons different buttons and then you also have this pagination control so you can use pagination control to add pagination to your uh, data or in this case to your uh, tabulated data tabular data yeah and then these items here are links then if you click this one it shows that this is the form or oh, i mean what would look like using the blazor uh, input components so you have here yeah typical usual drop downs with this one i used here an autocomplete so because they also have an autocomplete uh, component so if you go to form inputs and then here autocomplete then you can set up your uh, input box to have a autocomplete function like for example in this one you can search that one so that's the same con component i used here and then other components also here is like date picker yeah you have the date picker here and then usual input fields text fields yeah and then also the it depends on the data types you can configure your input fields to only accept uh, numbers which in this case this one yeah so yeah this is uh, pretty much uh, how mud blazer would look like on your blazer application so yeah let's try other things let's see if you can uh, yeah so this this one uh says it shows a simple table here i used a simple table uh, in condensed uh, form so now you have a much more compact uh looking table uh, to save a bit, a bit of space and yeah if this all of this is res responsive i've also used a grid to lay out the different sections of this or in this case for this page so if you open the developer console and then let's try and look at how the responsive aspect of mud blazer then this one so you can that and then yeah everything would just be responsive yeah yeah like that so if on much much smaller size screen then yeah everything would line up in one column if it's bigger then yeah it would follow the two column option yeah so so far uh, mud blazer has been like stable for 
what I've been using on the Northwind Blazor project. Yeah, it seems to satisfy, satisfy most of my requirements. So hopefully if things get complicated, I won't have like a trouble uh, customizing the different components. So, but so far so good. Yeah, my Blazor has been able to uh, satisfy all of my needs for this uh, small project. Yeah, simple table also. Yeah. Uh, using Mud Blazor isn't too difficult. Also, if you just head on to get started, then it gives you, tells you how to install and use it in your own Blazor apps. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Yeah. I guess that's it for this one. Yeah. If you are interested, then uh, head on to my Northwind Blazor uh, repository. Code is in there. You can explore it and take a look at yeah, how I've used Mud Blazor for that project. And yeah, hope to see you soon again next time. And uh, we will be exploring another set of Blazor components from other creators. And yeah, let's see what happens next. So thanks everyone. See you again next time. Bye.